I said, talking to me? <laughs> and Sue, Sue goes, oh, mayor. Oh, mayor. <laughs> Hello Yonkers. This first episode is named Hollywood on the Hudson, Stars in Schools. Thanks for having me. It's wonderful to have the viewers in City Hall, especially in the mayor's office. So Mayor, when you first took office back in 2012, you had this vision of transforming Yonkers into a premier film destination. <clears throat> One that would rival the likes of LA and New York City. In an interview with Westchester Magazine, you coined the phrase Hollywood on the Hudson. And it stuck. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about your initial thoughts when Lionsgate approached you? You know, it was very, very interesting that the whole, this whole thing and how it all came about. Uh, so um, here we are, take office. Uh, the governor's film office came down to visit. And they said, you know, um, you really, what they suggested to me was, you really should have more of this industry in Yonkers. Um, you have all that is needed. You're, you're less than 20 miles out of Columbus Circle, which is uh, the, the kind of like the, the center of where they will, where that industry needs to be in New York City. Uh, you're just outside New York City, so their costs are lower, um, and, and you have uh, easier access. And so you have all the ingredients that a community would need if you wanted to have the film industry in your city. Um, but, you know, last year, in 2011, you only uh, filmed three days in the city of Yonkers. Imagine, three days. And, uh, and I, so I asked why, and they, they gave me a list of reasons. Um, one, uh, Yonkers had a, a stage tax. I think it was $1,200, and it was a stage tax that no one in the industry had to pay anywhere else but in Yonkers, New York. Yeah. Uh, they had um, a, a number of, of requirements that were forced upon them by local labor leaders, by local labor groups that would, would show up on site and say, okay, you need to hire this group, you need to hire this group, you need to hire this group. Again, adding to the cost, also creating a burden and, and becoming almost like a menace. And so, uh, so the industry, uh, when I say the industry, I mean the film industry, really wasn't excited about coming to Yonkers. And so they would go elsewhere because they didn't have to pay those pesky taxes. They didn't have to, um, they didn't have to um, deal with some of the other rules and some of the other people that would come their way, which would, at the end, they would cost them a lot of money. So we did a couple of things um, because we wanted to bring more of the industry here, right? I would love to tell you that, you know, our goal was to get Lionsgate here, but that wasn't what we were talking about, not back then. Back then we were talking about how can we get more of this industry into Yonkers? And so we eliminated that tax. Um, we put a, a film office in effect in the city and the industry and their leaders could only deal with one person. That one person was a part of this administration. And that one person would facilitate the permits. That one person would also facilitate the needs. So if they were doing pyrotechnical, uh, they would, they would uh, facilitate having a fire watch and having firefighters there. If they were needed uh, crowd control, uh, then they would facilitate police officers. They needed to have the streets cleaned after a set. They facilitate having, uh, you know, a public works there, but only if they were needed. So again, it didn't add a burden. Money. It didn't add yeah. a cost. And so we were able to get, um, we were able to get those changes made, and it was really interesting. It it literally turned around in a year. All of a sudden, we went from having three days to having hundreds of days really? of people filming movies uh, in, in this city, you know? That's amazing. I, uh, I didn't know that 
about the taxes and it's it's interesting to me that you were able to do that. Can you talk a little bit about the process? Yeah, well, you know, like I said, it's sometimes it's not that they can't afford the tax, right? right. Um, but we want the jobs, we want the revenues. We know that there are greater revenues associated with bringing the, this industry to us than we would get on a stage tax. Sure. Um, but, but the stage tax was enough for um, Lionsgate and, and all the different companies that film movies, it was enough for them to say, ah, you know what, nobody else charges that, we're not paying that, and we don't, we, we're not gonna go. And so we, we needed to ch change it, and we were able to get the lobby to council at the time, and the council changed some of the local laws that allowed us to make those changes. And that uh, gave us the ability um, to be more attractive um, that being more attractive, like I said, word spread real fast. Right. Word spreads very, very quickly, I've noticed, in this industry. Right. Like, like almost instantaneously. And, uh, and you know, the, the industry looked at Yonkers and said, wow, here's an, here is the city of Yonkers uh, from, uh, it's culturally diverse, it is, um, diverse economically. Uh, it has a, a mixture of urban and suburban settings, all right here in this kind of like this little 18 square mile bubble. And, and it's less than 20 minutes out of Columbus Circle. Uh, and they came in droves and they wanted to, uh, they, they wanted to be here. Now, you know, when, it, when a film set comes to Yonkers uh, and, they, and they're filming here in the city. Um, they are, you know, employing local people. Um, they're, they're, they have local carpenters coming in. They have people coming in uh, to, uh, to help set up the set. They have, uh, they hire some of our local labor. They, they deal with our local restaurants. So uh, it, we kind of like having them here. And right. so this was, this was the beginning of what eventually led us and we could talk about that, you know, more, more, you know, more. But that's that was the, we to use the pun. We set the stage for what eventually became a uh, a huge game changer for the city of Yonkers and for the industry. And now the industry is coming here. Fantastic! Congratulations. Um, I must confess that I was watching an episode of one of my favorite shows, Billions two years ago and I saw a Yonkers water tower in the background and I had no idea they were filming in Yonkers and that's when I really became interested in, I don't know that a lot of Yonkers residents are aware of all the, sure. the Hollywood we, activities. We loved it when Axe said, um, you know, I'm, I'm from Yonkers. Yeah. And, um, and, and how did that really happen? Well, the director of Billions happened to be the same director that was part of Show Me a Hero. And he said to someone privately, that got back to me, Yonkers was so good to us. When we did Show Me a Hero, we were there for three months and it was such a great experience. So we wanted to toss the city a ball. And that's what he did. Can you tell me a little bit about how since Lionsgate has, has come here and expanded upon the filming, how that's helping Yonkers? Anytime you can bring new, uh, a new industry to the city, um, it means jobs, it means revenues. Um, it, it also uh, helps your reputation because there's a residual benefit to your reputation that will help you grow in so many other ways. And so, uh, at the end of this process, we're looking at um, probably 22 to 25 uh, or new studios. Uh, two of those studios are gonna be 40,000 square feet. Wow. That'll be the largest studios on the Eastern Seaboard. Um, we're talking 13,000 jobs, wow. uh, conservatively speaking. We're talking, um, all, now remember, so if people are coming here and there's 13,000 jobs available here, well, they're going to live here in our housing. Mm -hmm. They're going to shop here in our stores. 
um, they're going to um, pay an income tax. So those taxes um, are revenues to the tax for for our budget. Sure. And uh, and so when we when we can expand our, you know, our our revenues, we don't have to raise taxes. So we want to expand the number of people who are coming here, who are working here, and who are you know who are paying uh, their own taxes. That that really gives us the opportunity to not to raise taxes on everyone else. And so we're it it's great. And Yonkers will become synonymous with another industry, kind of like uh, you know Yonkers was known for Otis Elevator for the longest time. Right. All right, the largest elevator company in the entire world. Uh, Yonkers was known from the Alexander Smith Carpet Company, uh, the largest carpet company in the entire world, and uh, right up to the Second World War. And, you know, they employed 7,000 people in the city of Yonkers, and, and their factory is still there. It's a historical landmark, and we have it. And we're filling it up with, with you know, new starter businesses, and it's getting, you know, it's becoming even a greater success than it ever was. But again, it goes back to what I said before. You you start here, but it has an effect everywhere. And when the tide goes up in the harbor, all the boats will go up with it, and that's where uh, the residents of the city will see uh, their true effect. Speaking of the effects and how it can start small and expand in unexpected areas, I was wondering if you could talk about the actual component in the agreement that you had with Lionsgate about the two new film schools for Yonkers. Yeah, we can we can talk about that. That was a really interesting idea. You know, uh, during desegregation, when Yonkers was under a dual desegregation order, um, it was a tough time for the city, uh, economically, financially, um, our, our reputation. Um, you know, certainly we all know if we live here, we're not a racist community, but uh, if you're under a dual desegregation order, um, if you're outside of Yonkers, you might have a different impression. So we had a lot of work if we wanted to kind of change our image and move the city in a different direction. The reason I brought in a deseg order was because we, we were 100% what they call magnet schools. So we had magnet schools all across the city, and that allowed us to... Um, teach almost specialties to kids who wanted to be in any school in the city. Right. That magnet program was wonderfully successful, but um, extremely expensive. And when the city settled its desegregation order, it kind of went by the wayside. Um, but here we have an opportunity now to bring a magnet back. And a magnet, so magnet would be a film studio school. So they're going to come up with a curriculum that they're going to be able to teach kids, sixth grade to 12th grade, about the film industry, about holding a camera, about writing scripts, about doing all the things that, that you do in that industry. Uh, and frankly, many of, of the young people that graduate from this school won't have to go to college. If they choose not to, they can actually go right into the industry. And that's where, that's the whole goal and the whole beauty of this thing, that they'll go right into the industry. And the industry pays very well. I mean, they are, they are very much middle class. Um, and it's a, uh, it's, if someone gets a job working for Lionsgate, uh, they're, they're gonna have a direct line to the middle class. Now. That's a great thing that we can offer our kids here in the city of Yonkers. Uh, an edu first class education in an industry where they can learn, uh, have a job, have a future, and live, work, and play right here in the city they were born and raised in. Amazing. Uh, it seems to me that this is the silver lining in the Lionsgate proposal, and in a very big way, you're helping children reach their dreams. You're a dream maker. Yeah. When I, I had gone to, the, to them uh, and I said, I heard you, they were buying, uh, you know, Lee and Watts Children's Home. Uh, they had the Bondi, the Beyondi school was on site. It's a new school, fairly new school. Um, I actually, and, I, and I, 
I went to them and I said, do you think that there's a marriage that can be created here? Uh, they took that ball and I ran with it. Yeah. And then they came back to me with this wonderful proposal where we will have as many as 600 young people who can come from anywhere they want in the city, choose space, provided we have the space, and be a part of this magnet program uh, and, and be a part of this booming business that we have here at, in Yonkers. Picture the, the site. So it's a 28-acre site. Uh, there will be probably 14 or so additional movie studios on the same 28-acre site. Wow. And in the middle of this 28-acre site, overlooking the Hudson River, will be, um, will be the new high school. And that new high school, um, young people are going to go to school every day. They're going to learn, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic. But then they're also going to learn about this industry. And, and they're going to be able to have hands-on. Think about this. There's going to, they're going to build a studio and attach it to the school. So our kids will be working in the studio. Our kids will be driving through a maze of things that are happening where there are famous actors and actresses that are walking around them and amongst them. How cool is that going to be? So we're looking forward to that. Congratulations. It's amazing. I'm a father. I wish my daughter had the opportunity to have some of these uh, advantages. I've been trying to get discovered, but... <laughs> well, nobody's led, discovered me yet. So. Well, that, that led me to one of my last questions, which is, um, can you talk about some of your new friends that you've made since Hollywood has been here in Yonkers? Um, I mean, Robert Halmy, uh, who uh, is famous because he, his family created the Hallmark Channel. Um, and he is the major investment uh, investor here. Okay. Him with Joe Cotter. Um, I've developed a really good friendship with him. Okay. And... Um, and he's so excited about Yonkers. He's so excited to be here. And, and the industry is following him. I mean, Great Point Studios is kind of the, uh, it's the landlord, if you will, right? And, and Lionsgate and, and all these other uh, media pro, they come to, and they rent this space and they, give, they get 10 year deals and now they're here. And, you know, he's made that all possible by investing um, literally hundreds of millions of dollars in Yonkers. What about stars? Have you made any star celebrity friends? Not too many. Actually, you know, I, I mean, I got to meet, uh, what was that, Maritza Argentine? Argentine. Okay. She was here. Uh, I got to see her. I, I actually showed her a picture of her mother. Oh. Um, yeah, her mother was uh, an actress. Uh, her name escapes me, but her mother... Uh, was here in Yonkers, mm -hmm. and we have a picture of her being escorted by a Yonkers police officer, and I showed it to her. Uh, she was kind of excited about that. I got to meet Axel. I got to meet... Uh, James Franco. James Franco, Black. Um, what's his name? Jack Black. Jack Black. I okay. got to meet him. He was pretty cool. I got to meet... Um, Oh, who else? There was a, there were a couple of others actually who were really good ones I got to meet. Uh, I think the best one was uh, uh, was that he says you're talking to me. Who's that? Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Sure, so, sure. <laughs> I tried that with him, but he didn't. You tried it? He, yeah, he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't even la he didn't even laugh. Actually, I was like, no. And I, oh my. And the deputy mayor of town was Sue Gary. Said, um, "You okay?" I said, "No, I was wanting to, wanting." To, just want you to see what you think. And he was like, yeah, okay. So I talked about something else. <laughs> That's great. But he was in a different character. And I, what I've noticed that when they're here, um, and especially if they're at City Hall, they, they, they go into their character. And when they're having lunch or if they're having dinner, or if they're meeting you, they're they stay in their character. Wow. Yes. So, um, yeah, so he was a, kind of like a stockbroker. Robert De Niro, right? He was playing stockbroker. Sure. So he, he couldn't get out of that. He had to stay where he was. That's interesting. Uh, do you have any final thoughts or ideas that might help the audience understand the benefits of, of Lionsgate to Yonkers? Like I said, it, it, it's, it's clear. I mean, 
you know, when, when people uh, see Yonkers and they see that there are now 24, 25 studios, um, film studios that are here in the city, that there are major film uh, production companies that are here in the city, uh, it, it sends a message that Yonkers is, is, you know, the place where you want to come and, and make movies, right? There were seven, I guess, in the Emmys uh, last or yep. a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago. Uh, they had the seven nominees of, of, of shows that happened here in our city. Really? So, yeah, we were excited about that. And, and, and that, again, it's notoriety. It's jobs, it's revenues, uh, it's, um, it's fame for the city, and it's a reason for people to want to come live here, work here, invest in here, raise a family here. And that's what it's all about. Thank you, Mayor Mike Spano, for your time and for the opportunity to interview you. You can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please subscribe below. Thank you, Yonkers. Thank you.